The next piece is going to be tautologies. So let's go ahead and just go right into an example because I think it's better to show the example and then move into like a tautology. And so the first thing we notice is that our statement is if A then B, right? Or if B then A. So let's see what that outcome is. So two statements, two choices. We're going to have two columns, A, B, for our statements. And you can see that it'll be still true, true, false, false here in the first column and alternating in the second. Again, we don't really care what the statements are called. We only care about their truth values. The next part would be if A then B. And recall from right here in our previous example, this is exactly this, if A then B. So the only time, again, an implication is false is when the antecedent is false. I mean, the antecedent is true and the consequence is false. So here we're going to have true, if true, then true is true. If true, then false. So here the consequence is false, but the antecedent is true, meaning like I won the tickets to Coachella, but didn't take my friend. Remember, I wasn't a good friend, so that was false. And then the rest are true because I went otherwise or we still hung out, so I wasn't a bad friend. Okay, so now let's do that column here and then leave a little room and we'll do if B, then A. Now we're going to just look at it in reverse. So now we're going to look at this column first and then this column. So here, if true, then true. Okay, well, that just means I won tickets to Coachella and I took my friend. If false, then true. So I didn't win tickets to Coachella, but we went anyways. So maybe I surprised my friend with tickets that I bought them, right? So that's true. Here, I won tickets to Coachella, but I didn't take my friend, right? And that was when I was a bad friend. So that has to be false. That's the only time it's false. Here, um, if I didn't win tickets and we didn't go to Coachella, but we went out anyways to a movie and some dinner, then you're not a bad friend. So that's true. Okay, and so now we want to know if, if A then B or if B then A and see that result. So this is going to be our last, I'll put it in blue, or, and notice here our statement here is exactly these last three columns. This last part, this last connective with evaluating this or in the truth values will be the result of the truth table. So now again, we don't care about the headers. We only care about the values in the columns, right? In each row and the operation. We know that it's or and we see the truth values per row. So true or true. Remember, you or means you work at Google and all you need is cream or sugar for the coffee. The only time you would get fired is if you had black coffee, right? So you had cream or sugar. You had both. So awesome. True. You had no sugar but cream. That's okay. That still tastes good. Um, you had sugar, no cream. That's okay. And you had both once again which is great. So now this is the result of the truth table, that last operation. I want you to notice that every truth value in this last column is true. There are no falses, which is unlike the examples we've done before. You're like, whoa, that means no matter how much I argued this, I would always be right. And absolutely, you want a tautology is a full solution with no hiccups. So here we call this a tautology because, and the tautology is written right below in the note. So a tautology is when all truth values in the results is true.
just like this. Only the result, not every, obviously over here we have faults and stuff, but the resulting column, the resulting operation, when it's all true, we call this a tautology. So a deductive argument is valid if the argument's truth table is always true. So now there's valid reasoning and there's a total validation to everything and that's a tautology. So um, when you have these cases, just note that, and you'll hear these words as you go through college tautology, that actually means if you had va your deductive, your argument is valid completely. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and try now to complete a uh, truth table for three statements. So here, if I have three statements, I need three columns, A, B, and C. Remember that if I had two choices and three statements, that was two cubed, and therefore had eight rows or eight scenarios, in which it was four trues, remember half, four falses, then double trues, double falses in the second statement, and alternating in that last one, true, false, true, false, four times, true, false, true, false. So those are default. So you just write them, copy and paste from those generic truth tables that we did up here in example four, six. Okay. Now we got to do piece by piece. So let's do with a per, we'll follow order of operations and do parentheses first. So we'll do A or B here. So remember or is when we um, work at Google. So we just need um, one or the other or both to be true. But if both are false, that would mean that um, the truth value is false, right? Because you, you you brought black coffee, so <laughs> you're fired. Okay, so here is A and B. So only these first two columns, true or true. So essentially anything that's double false would be the only one that's false, right? So cream or sugar, yes, cream or sugar, cream or sugar. Yeah, you brought one or the other, one or the other, one or the other. Um, one or the other. And then these last two both are false, right? So you brought black coffee twice, so you were fired twice. <laughs> Sorry. The next part is now the product, right? Multiplication, right? That aside the parentheses, that's the not. So they want the opposite truth values of all these eight truth values. So you want not A or B. Okay, so I would just take each of these in this row and do the opposite. So all the trues make false and all the faults make trues. So false, 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 and double true. Great. And now we can go ahead and uh, do column C. And what we can do is rewrite C maybe over here. I think it's best that we be consistent and have both pieces on each side. And that way we have the implication in the middle. So let me go ahead and just copy all these values. And remember, it's just alternating true faults um, four times. So double alternating true faults, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to do if then. Now, I want to remind you, don't be alarmed by the headers. I don't care about the headers. I just use the headers to determine the operation and the columns in which we're doing the truth values. Okay, so no matter what, recall that the only time an implication is false is when the antecedent is true and the consequence is false, meaning you took, you won tickets to Coachella, but you didn't take your friend, right? So the only time is when the antecedent is true and the consequence is false, meaning the first column in this case will be true and the antecedent I'm sorry, the consequence C will be false. So we could only see that in a couple of cases that 
we have a chance of it being false, right? So let's look here. False than true, meaning I didn't win, but we went anyways. So I may have bought tickets, right? We didn't, I didn't win and we didn't go and we just partied it out, you know, like somewhere. And then false than true is true. False and false. We won. We didn't go. We didn't win, but we went anyways. That's awesome. And we didn't go. We didn't win. And then these last two is when I did win and I did go with my friends. I wasn't a bad friend. And this last one is when I did win, but I didn't take my friend. And that was when I was a bad friend. So you can see that this is mostly a tautology, right? And then that last one false. That's like the ace in the hole for your opposing lawyer to use that argument and dig into it because that's the only time that it's going to be your reasoning will be invalid. But this is pretty close to a tautology. And you should recognize like as you were going down, like, well, this is going to be a tautology. But then you get to that last fault and you realize, oh, man. But um, in any case, this last operation here will be the result of the truth table. So make sure you highlight around it so you know that that is the result.